When we think about romance, we probably picture flowers, candlelit dinners, and maybe a little poetry. But for some of our closest relatives, the path to love involves bizarre serenades, intense grooming sessions, and displays of affection that look nothing like our own. In the primate world, the playbook for romance is written with a completely different set of rules. It's a world filled with complex signals, fierce competition, and surprisingly tender moments that reveal the hidden emotional lives of these incredible animals. So, what does it really take to win a monkey's heart? We're about to explore the secret playbook of primate romance. From the subtle and strategic to the downright shocking, these are some of the most fascinating and bizarre mating rituals in the animal kingdom. You're about to see our primate cousins in a whole new light. Let's start with something that looks a lot like dating. In many monkey species, when a male is interested in a female, he doesn't just make a single move. He kicks off what scientists call a consortship. You can think of it as an extended monkey date that can last for a few minutes or even several weeks. During this time, the two are practically inseparable. They follow each other everywhere, they eat together, and they meticulously groom one another. This grooming isn't just about staying clean. It's a form of social courtesy, a way to build trust and show you care. They even become a team joining forces to drive off other monkeys who get a little too close. But this isn't just a casual fling. For the male, it's a way to guard his potential partner and make sure he's there when she's most fertile. For the female, it's a chance to see what he's made of. Can he find food? Is he strong enough to protect her? Is he attentive? Some males even develop their own unique style, using gestures like lip-smacking or suave-looking body dips to get her attention. It's a patient, calculated game of wing that forms the foundation of romance for many primates. Now, in the highlands of Ethiopia, things get loud. This is home to the Galada, a monkey with a real flair for the dramatic. While many animals rely on visual cues to find a partner, for Galadas, it's all about being heard. When a female Galada is ready to mate, she doesn't drop subtle hints. She broadcasts it. She lets out a series of loud, distinct calls that basically announce her fertility to the entire neighborhood. This call is designed to get the immediate attention of the dominant male in her group. When he hears it, he knows it's time to act, but the concert isn't over. Both the male and female often produce synchronized calls during the act itself, creating a duet that fills the air. Afterward, they might even engage in post-mating calls, which scientists believe helps to strengthen their bond. It's a bizarre noisy, and incredibly effective serenade that keeps their society running. In the snowy mountains of Japan life for the Japanese macaque is all about social status. At the very top sits the alpha male, a powerhouse who, in theory, has exclusive rights to mate with all the females in his troop. If it were up to him, only his genes would get passed on. But the other males have very different plans. This is where one of the craftiest rituals in the monkey kingdom comes into play. Sneaky mating. Low-ranking males know they can't win in a direct fight, so they turn to strategy. Instead of challenging the leader head-on, they play the long game. During mating season, these subordinate males will casually hang around the edges of the group, just watching and waiting. Their chance comes when the alpha is distracted maybe he's in a fight, looking for food, or just not paying attention. In that tiny window, the sneaky male makes his move, mating quickly and quietly before the alpha even has a clue what happened. 
It's a brilliant survival strategy that ensures genetic diversity and proves that in the game of love, brains can be just as important as brawn. What if the best way to win a mate wasn't to defeat your rivals, but to make friends with them? That's the surprising reality for spider monkeys in Central and South America. While male competition is common everywhere else, these monkeys have a strategy that seems totally backward. They team up. Male spider monkeys spend a huge amount of time being friendly with each other. They groom one another and often share these powerful, intense hugs that reduce tension and build strong social bonds. This bromance isn't just for fun, it's a critical tactic for survival. This cooperative spirit is essential when the group has to defend its territory or when food is scarce. The males band together, strengthening their alliances through these friendly gestures. So how does this lead to mating? By working together, the males create a safer, more stable community for everyone. This makes their group more attractive to females and ultimately leads to more mating opportunities for the guys who cooperated. The hug they share today helps ensure the survival of their offspring tomorrow. In the world of the rhesus macaque, the usual power dynamic is completely flipped. While males are often bigger and more aggressive, it's the females who truly run the show. Their society is built around powerful female family lines, known as matri lines. Daughters inherit their mother's social rank, creating a rigid hierarchy that any new male has to learn fast. For a male rhesus macaque, success isn't just about being the strongest. He's usually an outsider who has to earn his place. His ability to mate depends less on fighting other males and more on gaining favor with the females in charge. A male's entire fate can be decided by these powerful females. If a high-ranking female and her relatives accept him, he's granted protection and mating opportunities. If they reject him, he's left on the sidelines. Some studies even suggest that a female's physical response to mating is stronger with a high-ranking male, though this is still a topic of scientific debate. This female-led structure creates a stable society, which is perfect for raising children. In the kingdom of the rhesus macaque, it's the queens not the kings who hold the real power. From secret serenades to strategic bromances, the world of monkey romance is way more complex than we could ever imagine. Each ritual, no matter how strange, is a solution to the ultimate challenge, ensuring the next generation. Which of these rituals did you find the most surprising? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this look into the wild side of romance, don't forget to like and subscribe for more secrets from the animal kingdom. Monkey flirting as it turns out, is a pretty serious business. It's a rich tapestry woven from threads of communication, competition, and cooperation. The loud calls of the Galauda, the sneaky tactics of the macaque, and the female-led society of the rhesus all show an incredible social depth. These rituals challenge our own ideas of love and reveal a world of strategy and feeling we're only just beginning to understand. Far from being simple creatures, our primate cousins show us that in the jungle, just like in our own world, the game of love is the most complex and fascinating one of all.